Hey guys, what's going on today? My name is Oria, and today we are going to be looking at the pros and cons to the double pump nerf in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, this was a nerf that was introduced in Season 5, and I feel like it's been met with a bunch of positive reinforcement and also a lot of negative criticism. So today we're going to talk just about a few points that I really think are driving those two concerns. So if you are excited for the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe to the channel and go check out a bunch of my other Fortnite videos because we've been posting a ton with the new season. Well, let's hop right into it. So for those of you new players that might not have seen the old double pump, well, the double pump basically was that you could carry two shotguns, um, two pump shotguns, I should say, and you could rapidly switch between them and it would just ridiculously increase the fire rate of the pump shotgun, which had a much higher damage output than the tactical shotgun. So it effectively just made you have a tack shotgun that was super overpowered in close range if you knew how to use it. So players would use this just to have a completely unfair advantage in really close range situations and sometimes they just wouldn't be able to counter it because people would be so good at the double pump. So now in season 5 you can see what they did to reduce the double pump in its use. So now when you shoot, there's a little timer, a little circle that goes around if you switch weapons before you can shoot that next shotgun. So this is going to effectively just take out the double pump entirely. And there's good things about it, there's bad things about it, and today we're going to be talking all about them. Okay, so the first pro is equally met with the first con. So the first pro that I got here is that it's going to let less skilled players have a better chance but it's also going to eliminate the skill gap. So what do I mean about that? So a lot of people didn't like the double pump because it was just so effective at eliminating players in short range that if you didn't know how to use it, it just was really, really unfair, people thought. So now that there is no double pump, it's gonna allow these newer players to have a better chance when going up against some of the top players in the game because pretty much all the top players in the game used the double pump. I mean it was just ridiculously effective and it just shredded enemies apart. So for more skilled players they aren't going to like this. So personally I'm kind of torn because I like the idea of creating a bit more fair Fortnite game but I used to use the double pump a lot I'm not going to lie and it was just ridiculously good that's why I used it. But now I feel like I have a little bit less advantage in close range situations against some of these less experienced players, which is a good thing, but also a bad thing in my opinion. So I think really skilled players are not going to like this change, but you know, less experienced players, players that may be hopping into the game for the first time, are really going to appreciate this as they're not just going to get absolutely destroyed very quickly by super skilled players in the beginning of games. Okay, so the next pro and con are also kind of related, and the next pro is that this is going to increase a wider range of weapon choice. So if you guys have been watching my videos recently, you will know that I've been absolutely adoring the submachine gun. Actually, recently I have been taking a double pump, or not a double pump, excuse me, just a pump shotgun or a tactical shotgun, and then also instead of having that extra shotgun slot, I've been using the... SMG, most likely the tactical, not usually the suppressed. I don't really like the suppressed, but anyway, that's not important. But this nerf is going to increase people using these different variety of weapons, trying out different weapon combos. As you can see, I am not just going to run the double pump all day today because, I mean, it is totally useless. I run with a bunch of different loadouts, and it was really fun, honestly, to try a bunch of these different ones and, you know, not be stuck. To just thinking oh man I have to carry two pump shotguns that really limits my gun choice and in different situations I always have to go to the double pump if I'm going to close range so I think this will definitely increase the wider range of weapon use which is gonna be an overall great thing for Fortnite so when you get to the final battle it's just not gonna be who can double pump better it's gonna be who can strategize and use the weapons that they have more to their advantage rather than just who can switch between two shotguns faster so the con that goes with this is that this new patch pretty much makes the pump shotgun useless, at least after your first shot is what I've found. You really just don't have the time to shoot a pump shotgun shot and then wait for the next one because your enemy most likely is going to have either an SMG now or a tack shotgun and they're going to be able to hit two or three 
shots on you, especially with attack or who knows, maybe six shots on you with an SMG before you even have that second shot ready. So there's really not going to be that much of a use for the pump shotgun anymore, except having it in one inventory slot, shooting it once, and then switching to either a submachine gun or a, for example, Tommy gun. That is also a great pairing if you guys haven't tried that out. But it's really going to eliminate the extensive use of the pump shotgun. And I think they're actually going to have to increase its level of competitivity um, because right now it's just really really not good and I don't see any reason to keep one like you can even see I'm going just I'm, I'm really not gonna run with it after I show you guys how the double pump just doesn't work anymore I mean it's just not worth it now those are the only two real cons that I see at least that are just clearly evident in the game so far from this double pump nerf while I am sad to see them go I think that overall the nerf is a good thing there's even more pros there's so many pros i could list out but there's only one more that i really think is going to make a huge difference or that is like a really big emphasis on why they did it and that is it makes players come up with new strategies for short range engagements i've talked about this a little bit already but this this new mechanic of not being able to have double pumps is really going to make experienced players i mean new players obviously but really gonna make old players go back, reconsider how they deal with short range engagements. It's gonna make them rethink on how they wanna approach situations instead of just running in with a double pump, going for two headshots really quick and eliminating the enemy. They're gonna have to be more strategic. They're gonna have to plan out their moves more. And I think overall, it's gonna make everyone in the game a more skilled player, at least in the sense of strategizing. Maybe not in quick, who can switch faster, obviously, but definitely in strategizing and figuring out how to best move around the map and how to best engage enemies, it is definitely going to make them smarter. Now there is one thing that I thought of that I really can't decide yet if it's gonna be a pro or a con. And for me, I'm an Xbox player. And honestly, I think it is going to be more of a con than a pro because people already do this so much in Xbox and that is building. I think this update is going to make players build much, much more. Because before, you know, if you had a double pump, what people would do is usually if they saw a base and they saw someone sitting in it, they could rush up to it with a double pump, take them out really quick before the other enemy had a chance to build. Now, you really can't do that as much with the new nerf. So I'm really interested to see how people are going to start attacking different situations. Are they going to build more? Are they going to build less? And if they build more, is it going to be a good thing or a bad thing? Like, on Xbox, if you guys don't play on Xbox, you don't know this, but people just build in a, like, just an obscene amount. It is ridiculous. I feel like every time I get into a firefight, there's just a crazy structure that ends up happening. I mean, that's fun, but sometimes it's just so frustrating if you just want to get a little good, you know, shooter action going on, and you don't want to have to worry about building this massive one-by-one one or just a labyrinth mess um so i honestly don't know if it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing i think it's going to overall increase the amount players build because of that whole rushing mechanic i talked about but i'm interested to see this one i really can't tell yet if it's going to be a good or a bad thing now that is going to pretty much wrap up today's video guys i want to thank you all for watching if you didn't play be sure to hit that like button be sure to hit that subscribe button go check out some of my other videos on the channel but I also really want to know what you guys think about this new nerf. Is it good? Is it bad? What are the pros? What are the cons down in the comments below? I would love to see at least one pro and one con from each of you so I can start to digest this new patch just a little bit more. But anyway, guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend coming up, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.